Well, as the weather gets better, residents say one problem in a Fairview neighborhood is just getting worse. That issue is people driving too fast down a dead end road. News 13's Jerrica Insco joins us live. Jerrica, that neighborhood's full of families. That's right, and now that schools are letting out for summer break, there are more kids around. They're outside playing while cars fly by and ignore signs like this one. The cars are always going fast. At just four years old, Shelby can already see the problem from a mile away. The cars keep on flying down the road. I still can't get them to slow down. And she's not the only one having trouble controlling that problem, much bigger than she is. We have stopped them in the middle of the road. We've asked them, you know, it's summertime. Look, we're walking our kids. Please slow down. And still nothing. So here the Warleys wait along Spring Lake Drive, watching for another. A car came really fast. Clearly avoiding this number. The highest speed, honestly, I can say is probably about 50. And that is, that is excessive. And this sign, it's meant to make drivers think twice or one, two, three times before they speed down this road. When I was playing on my playground, then a car came really fast and they still come really fast. Bye, Daddy! This little girl's dad has already had a close call. She just barely stopped and missed him and was, you know, all over the road trying to get around him because he was already out in the road. It's something that could have been avoided if that driver just slowed down, especially since they're going nowhere fast on a road that dead ends in less than a fourth of a mile. I'm afraid that the only way they're going to take it seriously is if somebody gets killed or hurt. So what they want is for someone to pump the brakes before that happens in this small neighborhood with a big problem. And that woman I spoke with, spoke with told me that she has requested speed bumps, but she's been told that since it's a state road, they can't have them because of snow plows. She's also called non-emergency numbers to talk with law enforcement, but none of her calls have been returned. Reporting live in Fairview, Jerrica Insco, News 13.